Sore shoulders and knees, stress fractures, torn ligaments. Doctors at a local children's hospital are seeing a rise in student athletes getting hurt. Bob Jones shows us the way this pandemic is playing out is a big reason for those injuries. 13-year-old Camille Green is passionate about softball. So I've been playing since I was about like seven or eight. And especially her position, catcher. I love catching so much. <laughs> But when COVID-19 struck in the spring, it knocked her team out of the game. COVID came out of nowhere, so it, we had to take a longer break than we expected. Camille barely tossed a ball around during that time, and when she did, about three months later, she got hurt. The first time I threw the ball back, all I felt was pain right in my arm, and I had no clue what happened. I definitely got scared because I was afraid, like, the biggest concern was their if she would continue to overuse it to so get that fracture, which would definitely put her down for even longer. Camille was diagnosed with inflammation around the shoulder known as Little League Shoulder. Dr. Michelle Burke treated the teen and has seen a rise in the number of student athletes getting hurt. These x-rays show knee and shoulder injuries that put kids on the sidelines. I've seen several stress fractures of the shin and foot, and I've also seen uh, some acute injuries with football. Dr. Burke says part of the reason for the uptick, athletes lost conditioning when spring sports were canceled. And over the summer, many have faced practice restrictions and on again, off again seasons due to COVID-19. And when you lose muscle strength and then try to go back to the same sport, it's very difficult for those muscles to get back in shape very quickly like that. Dr. Burke says it's critical for athletes who have faced delayed seasons to stay active because ramping up too quickly can lead to overuse injuries even stress fractures. The doctor is concerned more injuries will mount in the fall, warning parents to be on the lookout. If your child is limping, uh, if your child is having pain as soon as they start practice or um, a game, that's definitely a warning sign that there's something else going on. As for Camille, she finished physical therapy and is ready to get back in the game. A lot better. There's no pain at all when I throw the ball. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.